as a father of daughters, and for every father of a daughter in here, you're uh, always wondering who's going to take care of your girls when you're not. When I say take care, I'm talking about safety. I'm talking about loving and nurturing. It's almost like when this guy came up to the door, and I thought he was creeping on Kristen, and I chased him halfway through the neighborhood until Lisa called me and said, Mike, Mike, that's her, that's her prom date. She, he just left a rose and a card on the front door. And then later I met him and he goes, dude, I'm on the football team. I need your ass chasing me. I never ran so fast in my life. But that kind of caring and nurturing and concern, I mean, for every father in here for a daughter, I can't trust anybody more than I would ever trust Adam to do that. Holding on to what I know I never wanted to Kristen, words can't describe the feelings I have in my heart right now. You're the most genuine, kind, selfless, loving, and inspiring person I've ever been around. Every day I'm so lucky to be able to share life's journeys with you. Standing up here today, I truly feel like the luckiest guy in the world. Growing up, we spent so much time together that our mom genuinely want, uh, worried that we wouldn't make any other friends. Erica Kristen's and I idea of fun was to make up the weirdest dances, practice it a hundred times, and then perform it for our parents until we got it right dances. We have a lot of it on film and it's hard to watch, yeah. You're my big sister and my inspiration. You're the person I know I can call at any time with any problem and you'll always know exactly what to do. I would say going through life as a younger sister is pretty easy when you have such a good role model there for you. Holding on to what I need Because of you I finally see Straight away I feel alive I'm letting go, there's nothing left to Adam, you and I are close because we've always been there for each other, no matter what. We've had a lot of high points and low points in our lives. And most importantly for me, we've been there as a shoulder to cry on or a shoulder to lean on uh, during the lows, which uh, really makes me appreciate our friendship and you even more, my man. Today is finally here. Life has a funny way of coming full circle. Who would have thought after meeting in this town almost five years ago, we would be standing here today? I could not be more obsessed with the person you are and the heart you have, and I can't wait to see where life takes us together. Together, we come from near and far to celebrate this union of Adam and Kristen. The tree of life is sprouting a new branch as Adam and Kristen begin their lives together. May we all be blessed as we hold them up in love. When you need a friend, I promise to be your best friend. When you need help, I promise to always be there for you. When you need someone to take care of you, I promise to be there to support you. When you need to cry, I promise to be your shoulder to cry on. When you're happy, I promise to be by your side and enjoy every moment of life and love together. Most importantly, when you're hungry, I promise to say yes when you want Chick-fil-A nuggets or a Portillo chocolate shake. <laughs> to always pretend to know what you're talking about when you say you took the bills for the final leg of a 16 parlay. <laughs> I 
vow to always believe you when you say golf will only take three and a half hours that day. <laughs> and I vow to always get you extra Tabasco sauce on the side at Chipotle. Hey. I vow to support you through every hurdle life throws our way. Be your number one fan and walk through this life as a team. I'm so proud to be your wife. It is truly my greatest honor. We are taught that to truly become one, there must be respect. Equality, trust, and love are of course necessary ingredients in a successful marriage, but respect for each other ensures that all the other parts of a relationship will survive. It's the glue that keeps a husband and wife connected to each other. You may now kiss as I present you as husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Walton. I don't know if you know how many people have pushed so hard to get here. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of planning, a lot of money, everything to be here. That shows you how much you love these guys. I want you to know how much they love you. There's nothing but love in this room right now. If you were to tell me 16 years ago that I'd be standing up here giving the speech, I'd tell you you were crazy. Because 16 years ago, Adam right here didn't invite me to his bar mitzvah. Kristen, ever since the first time I met you four years ago at the Walton's house, um, you've always treated me like family. Um, the first night I remember you ran in, you hugged me, and you treated me like you knew me for years. And it speaks volumes about the person that you are. Um, as lucky as you are to have him in your life, He's even luckier to have you in his life, without a doubt. You guys are perfect for each other. You complement each other so well. And I'm looking forward uh, to celebrating you guys the rest of the night. You guys are the best. I love you. And I wish you a life full of happiness and love for the rest of your life. There's no, no mistaking Adam's love for Kristen. There's just no mistaking, and I think based on what you heard today and the vows that they gave are the same from Kristen to Adam. And I know that um, one of Adam's favorite sayings about Kristen is how beautiful she is both inside and out, and you know, we couldn't agree more. So we love you both, and just in closing, I want to say that how wonderful this whole weekend has been to celebrate with you and your friends and family, all of you that have come in from out of town and honored us. I had a dream that I can't forget The world was blurry and your lips were red A perfect start into a perfect end Wish we never left, never left After first meeting Adam, I was a little worried that he was going to be too nice for Kristen. I quickly learned that that was not the case. Love you, Adam. Love you. <laughs> I think it was the moment that he hustled me out of 10 bucks during our first game of horse races that I knew he would fit right in with our family. From playing and unfortunately winning, 
most of our game nights, to laughing at my dad's ridiculous jokes, which, if you know Mike, I mean, I could see how it'd be funny if he wasn't your own father. Feels like a movie that was black and white. I'm getting dizzy looking in your eyes. And what's the use in keeping track of time? Put your hand in mine. Put your hand in mine. My advice, Adam, treat Kristen like the queen that she is. Kristen, let Adam be the man that he wants to be. It hasn't worked for me, but it might work for him. Thank you for always supporting, loving me and Remy unconditionally. We love you more than you know. You've shown me a type of love that I've never known before. You're my best friend, you're my better half. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and call you my wife. I love you. Your marriage is a renewal of your lives, a new beginning, a new chapter in your journey through life experiences. You are now connected by a common interest of love, the love for your family and friends, and your love for each other, as well as the love you share for your beloved Remy. So as you now join together, may you never lose sight of your love, which unites you today. May you always be one.